has access the pure, wise part of themselves that the wreckage of Ad. Dash. Diction can never touch. So many of us have hearts that are still in pain from the suffering we've experienced. Some have undergone trauma which often led us to seek temporary relief in our addictive behavior which unintentionally added more suffering to our original wounds. We tried to protect our dash selves by running from the pain, putting on a mask, and pushing people away for fear of being vulnerable, all to adapt to what often feels like a hostile world. We start to recover when we let ourselves believe in and rediscover. Dash. Her our pure, radiant, and courageous heart where we find our potential. For awakening resides. Who are we before the world got to us? Who are we beyond the obsession of our conditioned mind? Who are we beneath? All our walls and heartbreaks. Despite the trauma, addiction, fear, and shame, there is a still and centered part of us that remains whole. There is a part of us that's not traumatized, that's not addicted, that's not ruled by fear or shame. This is where wisdom comes from, and it's the foundation of our recovery. If you're at the beginning of your recovery journey, it may seem impossible to access this part of you. But you're here because you already have. Perhaps you felt some small glimmer of hope, maybe born out of desperation, that there might be a way out, that things could change if you took wise action and reached out for help. Maybe it feels impossible to have faith in this part of you, to believe that you have the potential to be capable of wisdom and kindness and ethical deeds, to believe you can be the source of your own healing and awakening. Recovery is a gradual process. This path is a lifetime of individual steps. It's not only the bud. Dash. These example that shows us the way, but also those before us who have gone through the process of recovery and made it to the other side. They show us that we can, too. Too. So what does the Buddha have to do with recovery? There are two ways in which we use the word Buddha, which means Awaken. First, it is the title given to Siddhartha Gautama, a prince who lived in modern-day Nepal and India roughly 2,500 years ago. After many years of scholarly study, meditation, and ethical practice, he was awakened to the nature of human suffering and discovered a path that leads to the end of suffering, and the freedom that comes from Awak. Dash. Ending. After his awakening, Siddhartha came to be known as the Buddha. The second use of the word Buddha follows from the first. But, Dash. Dha can refer, not only to the historical figure but also to the idea of awakening. The fact that each of us has within ourselves the potential to awaken to the same understanding as the original Buddha. When we take refuge in the Buddha, we take refuge not in Siddhartha as a person, but in the fact that he was able to find freedom from his suffering and so can we. The story of the original Buddha to understand the nature of this awakening it can help to know something about the life of Siddhartha Gautama. One of the many versions of the story of the Buddha tells us that Siddhartha was a wealthy prince, born into privilege, and sheltered from 
Much of the suffering of the world. The story goes that young Siddhartha sneaked away from his palace and saw people suffering from old age, sick, dash, mess, and death. He realized that no amount of privilege could protect him from this suffering. Wealth wouldn't prevent it. Comfort wouldn't prevent it. Pleasure wouldn't prevent it. Despite having a life of ease, Sid, Dash, Dartha still found that he experienced suffering and dissatisfaction. He was born with everything, but it wasn't enough. This persistent dissatisfaction with life, whether dramatic or subtle, is called Nuga, a Pali word we still use today. All humans ex dash carrions Nuga, but some of us, particularly those of us who have struggled with addiction, seem to experience it on a more intense level and with worse consequences. What is addiction but the consistent and nagging feeling of, not, enough? What is addiction other than being constantly unsatisfied? Siddhartha saw that pain was an unavoidable part of life, and he became determined to find a way to put an end to it. He left his family and for a time, lived the life of an ascetic, the extreme opposite to his previous life of comfort and wealth. As an ascetic, he sat in extremely un- dash- comfortable postures meditating for long periods of time. He slept very- free- little. He ate very little. He even tried breathing very little. He thought that, since material comfort hadn't eliminated suffering, maybe the oppo dash sight of material comfort would at the brink of death, Siddhartha Avon dash know the idea of idea of extreme asceticism and instead chose what he called the middle path. Siddhartha realized that both the extremes of pleasure and death, dash, denial of pleasure, pleasure had brought him nowhere nearer to liberation. Neither extreme had given relief. from his suffering, so he set off on his own too. to meditate. Sitting beneath a Bodhi tree, he meditated deeply and discovered dash, bird the path that leads to the end of suffering. He looked within himself for his own liberation. Liberation, and he found it. What Siddhartha understood as he meditated under the Bodhi tree is known as the Dharma, or the truth, which explains the causes and nature of cyclical suffering. It's the basis of the teachings of Bud. Dash. D H I S M. Central to this path are the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, which will be explained in the next chapter. Siddhartha was called the Buddha, or, the one who woke up, because most people go through life with a false sense of reality, like being in a trance. The Buddha spent the rest of his life developing the Dharma into a simple but sophisticated system. He shared it with anyone who would listen, dedicating himself to a life of service to free everybody from suffering. He defied the norms of his time by letting women in the poorest class of citizens become monastics. Everyone was welcome in his Sangha, his spiritual community. 
central to his teachings was the idea that liberation is available to all, to the most broken and oppressed among us, to the sick, to the powerless, to those who have lost everything, to those who have nothing left to lose. All of us, even the most addicted, the most lost, can find our way to awakening quick as we all have the ability to access the pure, wise, and true nature within each of us. Walking in the footsteps of the Buddha. The story of the Buddha may seem far removed from our every dash day reality, but his life before and after his awakening offers us a model for our own lives. All of us can relate to the inevitability of suffering. Aging, sickness, and death have touched us all. We've experienced the truth of impermanence, the highs we achieved in our addictions Ow. Dash. Ways wore off, but we kept chasing them anyway. We've also endured other forms of suffering, some self-inflicted and some at the hands of others, and we've dealt with subtle forms of dukkha, the annoyances, the boredom, the loss of what we want, the inability to keep what we have, the impatience with life, the refusal to accept what is, and what have we done with these experiences of suffering. At this point most of our stories start to look different from Siddhartha's, and this difference is what led us here. Instead of sitting with our suffering, we found ways to change it, avoid it, or replace it with something more pleasurable. For some of us, that came in the form of drinking or using drugs. Others used sex relationships, self-harm, dash, king, technology, work, or gambling, and some of our stories contain a version of all of the above. Whatever the behavior, it was just a tempo, dash, rare solution that always led to deeper suffering for ourselves and others come to realize that our stories don't have to continue like this. The life of Siddhartha, and the lives of the countless people we meet in recovery who have found an end to the suffering of addiction, prove to us that there is another way. We can look back on our own lives and see clearly the path that brought us here. We can examine our own actions and intentions and come to understand how we shape our own future. And we can gain insight into the nature of our own suffering and follow a path that leads to less harm and less suffering. The Buddha began as a layperson with suffering, just like us. This is not a path of miracle or blind faith. This is a path of practice and the Buddha can be an ideal that inspires us. Experience has shown us that good results come when we put the necessary effort into our own Recup Dash Furry This is a program of empowerment. We take responsibility for our own intentions and actions. The Sangha is here to help us along the way. We don't have to identify as Buddhists, and we don't have to meditate for hours each day. But we have found that the path outlined in the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path can lead us to liberation from both the suffering of addiction and the suffering that comes from Simply being human, we trust in the potential in all All of us to find freedom. 
from this suffering. The truth. Dharma. As people who have struggled with addiction, were already empty. Dash. Made me familiar with the truth of suffering. Even if we've never heard of. The Buddha. At some level we already understand the core of the teach. Dash. Kings. That in this life, there is suffering. It can be incredibly liberating to hear this said so plainly and directly. No one is trying to convince or convert us. No one is telling us. We have to believe something. No one is sugarcoating our experience. The Buddha also taught the way to free ourselves from this suit. Dash. Bearing. When the Buddha awakened, he understood how samsara, or the cycle of existence, came to be and how it is maintained. The heart of these teachings which, which we call the Dharma is the Four Noble Truths. These Four Truths and the corresponding commitments are the foundation of our program. 1. There is suffering. We commit to commit to understanding the truth of suffering. 2. There is a cause of suffering. We commit to understanding that craving leads to suffering. 3. There is a way of ending suffering. We commit to understanding and experiencing that less craving leads to less suffering. 4. There is a path that leads to ending suffering. We commit to Kulji, Dash, batting the path. Like a map that shows us the path, these truths help us find our way in recovery. The first noble truth. There is suffering. Some of the ways in which we may experience suffering are obvi. Dash. Out. Like poverty, hunger, pain, disappointment, and feeling separated or excluded. There is also suffering due to the divisions of our world, such as war, colonization, and oppression. Some are less obvious, like feelings of cravings, anxiety, stress, and uncertainty. We also suffer as we struggle with birth, aging, sickness, and death. As much as we want to avoid what we consider unpleasant and hold on to what we label as pleasant, this it is. Dash. Faction separation, loss, and injustice still may frequently arise. Suffering occurs whenever we fail to see the true nature of our existence, when we insist on controlling or altering our reality. The first noble truth rests on the understanding that our lives seem unsatisfactory because extreme seeing, 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 smelling, tasting, and touch, but also thinking are often unruly. Dash. Able and temporary, which means that the way we experience and make sense of the world is constantly permanent and 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 absolute and to satisfy our craving for pleasure or to avoid pain many of us have suffered by trying and failing to control our dependencies habits and addictions We've used every kind of willpower, dash, er, bargaining, planning, and magical thinking, each time imagining the result would be different, 
and blaming ourselves. I, 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 I'm done. You'll never drink and 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 never drink in the morning. Have we diets? 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 Have we tried? Let our wounds, at 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 our wounds. Or work, 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 or work. Only away from certain, way 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 from certain. Aim, 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 aim. How many and ourselves were 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 and ourselves repeat ourselves repeat ourselves repeat ourselves repeat for our addictions 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 with relationship 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 how many times 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 did we come to unders 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 come to understand this for suffer when we have 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 suffer when we obsess, when we obsess, when we obsess, when we obsess, when we cling and grasp onto all of the delusions of it. Addiction, all the impermanent solutions to our discomfort and pain. We've tried to cure our suffering by using the very substances and behaviors that create more discomfort and pain. All our attempts to control our ensign 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 of the world walls every 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 time we act on our addictions Liberation comes when we gain a clear understanding of where our real go up, 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 go up. Experience, 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 trauma, dash, dash. Dash, 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 dash. It's it's caused, 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 it's caused by an over event after the 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 event and Esser from event 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 Esser from events that occur in her
cash Trump while 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 Trump a frequent injury in danger really 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 in danger can be tremendous It is likely 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 it is will be trump ma 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 and can have boost by abuse 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 neglect trumps 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 Trauma and attack and some practice 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 and slightly dash in meditation 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 even asking to be 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 be asking to be asking to be asking to be asked to be present to the is 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 people 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 or in on in on in on in the 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 on in this cage engage 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 and invest of the the nature 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 of the harm we you did 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 you should all did 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 Trump is a mental and physical 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 what's 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 what we try the sun forces 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 the cycle of a bit and because it 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 Vulnerability, 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 and present, 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 present. For some people, post-traumatic symptoms may be increasingly severe and last long after the original events have ended. Many of us have intrusive thoughts that seem to come out of the blue, or we feel confusion, or mood swings we can't link to specific events. Traumatic responses may Led us to avoid activities or places that trigger memories of the event. We can become socially isolated and withdrawn, and